Ay, 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 ay. Hey guys, today I am going to show you a dish. It's a pasta dish, it's for diabetics. Now don't get me wrong, it's not a real pasta, of course. It's something called konjac pasta. And we're gonna put some shrimp in there, we're gonna put some veggies there, and it's gonna be delicious. And my wife will do it for you. And this guy will just make noise around here, okay? All right, let's get started. This is Jackie, my lovely wife, and guess what? Look what she has prepared for you. Oh yeah, this is really good stuff, huh? All right, look at that. Okay guys, so... As you see here, there's a lot of veggies and we have shrimp. And we have parsley and here are our noodles. Let's get started. Okay, so first I'm just gonna put this on a medium, medium high heat. I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil here. Okay, we are adding olive oil. <laughs> not too much, not too much. <laughs> and we're just gonna take, I have about six cloves of garlic here. And I'm just going to um, shred the garlic in here. Okay, shred the garlic. I have this little tool, but if you don't have this, you can just dice it. Hey, Dickin. Hi. So always, so always saute the garlic and onions first. That's gonna be the first step. If you love garlic like me, you can add more garlic or less garlic if you're not a huge garlic fan. Okay, so that's about six cloves of garlic here. Now I'm just gonna bring that to a higher heat. Get the garlic browning. So the garlic is nice and brown. So I'm gonna go ahead, after the garlic is browned, I'm gonna go ahead and add the onion. Saute the onion until like translucent, kind of golden brown. Add a little bit more olive oil. I was going to actually make an Asian stir fry tonight, but instead I chose to do this Italian style veggie pasta dish um, because it was more appealing to me tonight for some reason. So let's see how it turns out. Okay, so the onions are getting translucent here. We're just gonna wait for them to brown up a little bit more. Now one of the longer veggies um, as far as cook time goes is gonna be the asparagus. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and add next. And basically I just cut them up into smaller pieces like this. Okay, so I added the asparagus. Now you don't want the asparagus overcooked, you do want some bite to it. A little bit of crunch is nice. Um, so I'm not gonna overcook the asparagus, but I am just gonna saute it for a little while with the onion and the garlic. That's all I've done so far. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add these uh, Baby Bella mushrooms. You can use any type of mushroom. And what's great about using like a non-stick wok pan like this is that you don't need to keep adding olive oil or butter um, for unnecessary calories. So, this is not sponsored, but I love this wok by Cathalon. So now we're just gonna pretty much saute until the mushrooms are done. I'm gonna go ahead and add the tomatoes so that they can um, go ahead and get softer in here. These are cherry tomatoes I just um, have. So that is our veggie base. You, if you don't like a particular vegetable in this dish, you can remove it, you can change it. Um, it's so versatile, you could pretty much use anything. And while this is going, I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit 
of pepper, black pepper. Tiny bit of salt. And then you'll notice the tomatoes start to get very soft and um, the juices kind of come out and it, it makes it really great. Okay, so here I have, this is an Italian spice mix. You can make your own, a very simple, some dried basil, some dried oregano. Um, you can even add some Parmesan cheese to that. And then here I have some crushed red pepper. I had that because we like spice. <laughs> so I am using a medium high heat here. So now the shrimp, shrimp to cook does not take very long and you don't want to overcook the shrimp because then it will become very rubbery. So I'm going to go ahead and add the shrimp at this point. I've already cleaned. Um, peeled and um, deveined them. So, shrimp is high in omega-3, so it's great. It's a really good protein source. And if you wanted to even omit those noodles, you can actually just have this as a dish. Um, and this would be really delicious. So I'm gonna cook until the shrimp is no longer gray and translucent, and it uh, becomes a little bit more pink. So you want the shrimp to be, um, a little pink on the outside and more white on the inside. So see right now it's kind of gray. And again, if you don't like shrimp or seafood or if you can't eat shrimp for religious reasons or anything like that, um, you can always swap that out for chicken breast. That would be great in here. I'm gonna turn up the heat a little bit. Meanwhile. Take it now, babe. Now, babe, what would you? So here the shrimp is done. You see how it looks now? Uh, there is no gray, nice and pink, um, still kind of firm, but it's soft. So what I'm gonna do is now add the noodle. So these are the shirataki or konjac noodle. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. They are only five calories per serving with two grams of carbs and two grams of fiber. So if you deduct the fiber, they're virtually carb free. <laughs> so I'm just gonna kinda toss that around for a minute. Now to um, increase the flavor of this dish, I am going to add some, um, this is a sun-dried tomato pesto. Um, you can make this very easily. It's olive oil, sun-dried tomato, um, basil, and a little bit of cheese. I'm gonna go ahead and add that. That's about two tablespoons right there. And I'm gonna add just a dash of balsamic glaze just to give it some acidity. So these uh, konjac noodles, I think they don't need to be cooked, it's already cooked. So some require you to pre-boil them. This particular brand does not require you to pre-boil them. So basically, um, all you do is ha you have to rinse them. So the water that they do come in, you need to open the package and just rinse them and drain them very well. I'm adding it last minute, the parsley, so it gives it um, a nice fresh taste. You don't really wanna cook the parsley. You want it to have that nice, um, crisp, fresh parsley taste. Okay, that's it. Oh yeah, that looks delicious. I am ready to eat. 
are you guys? If you like this recipe, please give a thumbs up and share with family and friends. Enjoy! All right, thank you for watching and I want you to be more informed and more educated. So to do that, go ahead and watch this next video right here.